What's going on Kryptonites here? Welcome back to the Kryptonite Mining Channel. In today's video, it's an exciting video. I'm doing a little renovation here on the mining room. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got going on and what I plan on doing and then going through the entire process and why I'm doing it. Okay, so my current intake and exhaust you know my cooling method my setup has always been intake right here um, that's a AC infinity exhaust and right here is the outtake and mainly I just have the GPU rig and the ASIC miner right there so I have the ASIC miner aimed right at that ignore the clutter by the way it's just really cluttered right now because I just cleared off this workbench all this stuff was stuck underneath it so that's why it's all there right now so you know when i had nothing but gpus i had about 14 gpus running in here I mean, it was no problem keeping everything cool with this method right here now with the asic miner going it's getting to be about 100 degrees uh during the daytime here in the summer and we haven't really kicked into full summer yet so i expect that to rise now I have added this to my door. Now these box fans, they are kind of okay. I mean, it's, it's definitely bringing cold air in, makes some of it, what of a difference. But when I open this door and stick one of these fans in front of it, it literally brings it down from like 102 down to 94. Now my machines are running just fine at 100 degrees in here. They're still staying cool. But if, if you watched my previous videos, I have talked about my future endeavors of making my intake and exhaust just like an ASIC miner is designed. That's how you want to design your mining room. Now, I wouldn't try using AC because the thing is going to continually run and AC unit can use anywhere from 500 to 900 watts. So that's cutting into your profitability. So, you know, profitability is the name of the game. So fans is the way to go. It can be summer humid out here in Kentucky during the summertime, but that straight line wind can keep my machines running cool in here. Essentially, you just need to design your mining room like an ASIC miner. So you have the intake going in, blowing straight through and going out. So what I plan on doing is moving that workbench and putting it right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and start taking out a portion of that wall. Um, I have these intake fans on the way. They should be here in about a week. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. This side's a wooden wall, as you can see right here. And this side's a concrete wall. So it's gonna be a little bit harder to bust through this one. Now this thing is powerful. The problem is it's just not round enough. You know, like this door being open and this fan not as fast, but bigger of an area, it just, it moves more air. We're gonna get this workbench right here over in this corner. And then I'm gonna basically go ahead and take the wall out here on the inside. one week later so what's up uh different day we're outside now i wanted to wait until i got the fans in before i started taking the vinyl off the outside i have got the fans in yesterday they're sitting in the mining room so it's actually storming right now here not too bad it's raining pretty good you can probably hear that in the background we've actually had several bad storms coming through um they've been splitting around us but there's several coming through uh the chickens are all, all up in here I'm out here in my chicken coop over here. We got mining room over here, chicken coop over here. I actually got to leave work early today, so I decided even though it's raining, uh, I'm still under shelter right here in this part, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on uh, taking the vinyl off on the outside so I can start cutting myself a big old hole, put those fans in. And like I said, I just got those in the mail, so here in a second, once I get, uh, this all taken care of out here. I'll take you guys in and then we will take a look at those exhaust fans. I'm going to show you all the rain out here right now. It's raining. All the 
chickens are up for the day. Getting all nestled up. Alrighty, so the fans are finally completely installed besides wiring in the power plug which I'm going to show you guys here in just a minute. Now as far as tonight, I'm just going to clean everything up, let them run, see how they're going and, and then as far as the siding and finishing the inside up here, I'm going to do that tomorrow because I've been out here for a while working on this. Right here, there should be another 2x4 going across. I don't have any more, so I'm gonna pick that up tomorrow, but it is mounted and solid. I can just run another two by four and then finish my framing out when I get some more two by fours. Um, it looks like I'm not gonna be able to fit any more in the wall. So they, the fans are a little bit bigger than I thought. Um, I think they're gonna be enough. So um, we're gonna do a quick speed through video as I clean all this up. And then I'm gonna show you guys how to wire it up. And then we're gonna give it a sweet test run All right, so you're going to buy some power cables because it doesn't come with any. Um, I got these on Amazon. I'll make sure to have these fans and these power cables uh, linked in the description below. If you don't know what you're doing, please make sure that you get a professional electrician or consult with someone. But this one's pretty simple. All right, so there's three colors. There's green, white, and black. It's pretty simple. We're just going on green, white, and black. So. Black to black, green to green, white to white. Also, you might want to get some of these caps. They screw on, there's different sizes to make these wires stay on together. I don't have any electrical tape right now, but I believe once I have those caps screwed on, I'll probably put electrical tape around everything, keep everything nice and together and snug. I'll pick that up tomorrow. But for now, we can still get it going, test it out. This side's already stripped, the wires are showing. This one's not. The best way to do that is with the wire stripper. It's got the different sizes. Just gotta make sure you get the correct size. I'm gonna start off with the biggest, make sure that's, see if that's it. Okay, so twist them all around. Nice, good. Just a little piece of rubber needs to come off there. Just cut that like so. Beautiful. Twist that like so. Right, and this side's already twisted really good, so all we need now is see what proper size we need. You don't want too big and you don't want too small. I hope I have enough here. Everything I've had has been pretty much just scraps and things I've had around here today, so it's been nice. So hopefully this one, this size fits because I have several of those. We shall see. So finally I can put the final touches on my intake. Let's get this wrapped up. The fans are running great and it's moving a lot more airflow in here which is making the rigs run way cooler. Make sure you smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new exciting content.
Plus my part two to this video where I bust out the back concrete wall and put the fans taking all the hot air out the back of the mining room. Until next time, Kryptonite Miner out.